Always abide in your pure silence. You can easily perform all types of actions, all your work. If you stay in your pure silence, in your own stillness, some of the works might drop off. You might not be interested and that is good. Unfolding of your own awareness will take care of the purest in you the divine in you. So many things we do or think have no meaning. That only adds to the story of this body-mind complex, which does not serve any purpose in our unfolding in our realization, in abiding in truth, and all that starts dropping off, life becomes more simple, more closer to the truth. Unnecessary baggage from your head drops off. Another important piece of advice on the path of spirituality is we are trying to offload ourselves from concepts, beliefs, dogmas, connections, attachments. Better we don't create more on the spiritual path. Don't create desires for some experiences, though they might be divine experiences. If they come, it's okay. If they don't come, then also it's okay. Some people get more divine experiences. Maybe it's okay for them as they can handle it. It might be not good for some people as they might get attachment to them. 
that can be an obstacle itself. So on path of spirituality, abiding in self, have faith in your own self. And accept whatever comes or not comes on this path. But be like a child, inquisitive, curious. Wait in your own silence. With patience. Sit quietly to watch it. People who have travelled, visited tiger reserves knows this. In a tiger reserve like in India, you go, you take a shelter, you sit there whole night Sometimes there are small places on the top of a tree or they have created a small place, a hideout to watch a tiger. And you sit whole night to watch when it comes to drink water or move around. Sit in your stillness. To watch your awareness. You can know yourself in perfect silence only. When no other desire is left and your mind has melted away. Stay as a witness, as an eternal witness, not for minutes or hours or days. You are always a witness to whatever is happening. Your self is abiding in and out of the body and is only watching what this body mind is doing. It is provide, providing the power to the mind and body, but itself it is uninvolved. There is no need to go into the theories why this body-mind has come. Law of karma of the body-mind. Prarabdh karmas or whatever it is. Now it is none of your business. 
you want to come back home, just watch it. Watch whatever is unfolding through this body-mind complex. And please don't get involved again. This body-mind complex has come into existence because of your involvement. Now you have decided to come back home. Now just watch it. Be the pure witness. And when you watch, your attachment to the body-mind loosens up. You become a separate entity than body-mind. So much so that the body-mind you are living in becomes like another body-mind you watch. No difference. You are pure awareness. You have no story at all. Past, present and future is in the time-space zone. You are beyond it. The stage of life is constructed on time and space. Pure awareness is always now. For it, past, present and future is non-existent. It is always here and now. As it is all pervading, it is not bound in any space. There is no second to it. It alone exists. And you are that existence. Everything comes and goes into it. And you are that. You are not the body-mind complex. All desires are of the mind. You are not the mind. What needs to be done or not needs to be done is all a thought, again part of the body-mind complex. The whole world what we see, the way it functions, the goodness and bad stuff in it is all part of the mind.
Nothing in this world is separate from the mind. Nothing in this world represents you. But everything in the world comes from you. You are the substrata. You are the base. You are the power, source of everything. And yet uninvolved. If you are not there, then nothing can exist. You are the prana, oxygen of all the beings. Without you, there is nothing. You are so vast. You are everything. Don't restrict yourself in one body-mind complex. Don't behave like a wave. You are the ocean. Ocean of bliss. Ocean of peace. Don't touch anything else. Look within and abide in your pure self. Be still in your own pure self. Don't take any support from anything outside. Even your body and your mind is outside of you. Ego and intellect is outside of you. Sensory audience is outside you. Thoughts are outside you. They all take support from you. You are independent. Don't rely on anything else. You are pure silence.
silence of conscious awareness you are always conscious of awareness pay all attention on awareness aliveness without any name without any form stay empty you are nothing nothing can bother you this deep stillness listen to this stillness listen to this silence pure awareness whether you are successful or unsuccessful whether rich or poor whether the body is healthy or diseased whether young or old body whether you have friends or enemies nothing matters in pure stillness nothing ever has ever happened there is no movement in pure self nothing can touch it
Tune yourself to the pure awareness by paying attention to it, by abiding in your own silence. When you have no interest in any sort of activity outside, then only you can hear your own silence. Once you are tuned to your own silence, it never leaves you. It's always there. even when you are talking or busy. But for a fraction of a second at least, you have to give up everything. You have to enter into this desirelessness state. in emptiness. You have to surrender to the Absolute to become Absolute. You cannot enter the Kingdom of God with your trophies and possessions. You have to finish before you can achieve. You have to give away the costume of your ego to meet the beloved. This love lane is so narrow, two cannot enter here, only one can be here. You can only meet the Absolute in all your nakedness. In complete emptiness. It is like your house is on fire. And you have been asked to vacate to save yourself. And you are still collecting some possessions, some valuables before you leave. And you have been asked to drop everything. And you are still not hearing it. It's all or none law. You have to choose. Choose once and for all. One side is the whole world with its joys and sorrows. Transient 
impermanent cycle of birth and death grip of anxiety and fear and suffering but a lot of dreams hopes beliefs concepts anger greed jealousy attachments and on the other side there is nothing emptiness desirelessness no body no mind no intellect no ego nothing but contentment peace bliss unending joy absolute knowledge eternally free no more birth and death no suffering fearlessness but no personal identity just pure presence with contentment and happiness choice is yours you can't have best of both worlds you have to choose you can't choose mind and self both and who chooses the one who can select disappears as soon as it selects absolutely it cannot survive it can only survive if it chooses mind
प्योर साइलेंस इज योर नेचर as you are not performing any action then there is no point in knowing about the results or fruits of action all actions are disinterested actions what fruits are you interested when you're already contented and happy who cares if an action results a fruit or not actions are predestined and so the fruits you are the knower you are the knowledge abiding in pure self you are already free living in this body still you are free free from your desires and ego free from the grip of the mind free from your unwanted thoughts the last obstacle is this body which will drop when it has to you are not waiting for it and you have no problem with that you are pure awareness always you are pure seeing without judging anyone anything without analyzing anything without likes or dislikes this is called as pure seeing this is the seeing of pure awareness it's always impersonal no thought belongs to you stop entertaining giving a five star treatment to your thoughts some of them look very very close to you because you have given them food of your attachment your interest
so they can disturb you for a while but they will die their own death as a matter of fact an average person have 60 to 80 thousand thoughts in a day they die their own death you don't have to worry about them as you have decided to abide in your pure self you don't need all those thoughts so this all will be dysfunctional soon it will continue for a while because of its own momentum you don't have to worry about it pay attention to the pure self pure awareness is your other name inner silence is your language unconditional love for all the beings is your fragrance you're out of the give and take relationships of an individual of a personality you have given up the mask of your personality and in this emptiness in this nakedness you are impersonal presence pure awareness you don't belong to any religion but all religions talk about you only
No, perfect, stillness. Unmoving, pure presence. You are always in your own thoughtless state. Where no action is ever performed. Abiding in your own grace, You are the source, you are that potential energy providing all the dynamic movement of consciousness. Same potential source becomes the kinetic energy of the dynamic world. It derives everything from you, but you are not involved. If you ever have even a slightest hint that you are involved, that means you are still in the mind trap. You are always uninvolved, untainted. You have never done any action and so no consequences of any action will lead to any suffering or joy. You are always a pure witness. Abide in your pure awareness all the time. This is real freedom. This is real happiness and joy.
This is abiding in truth, in the God within. Always stay in that, in your own place. There is no name for it. It has no form. It is nothing but everything. Indescribable. It is purest of pure. And it is none other than you. It is always available. Om Shanti Shanti